This is Ben Shapiro Thug Life. Trigger warning. The Thug Life chose me. And then he started doing experiments regarding communities, and, uh, and what he saw was that <laughs> he saw was that diversity in communities, racial, ethnic diversity, which these days comes with. I didn't realize he had left this as young. Fuck school, nigga. I'ma be a dope killer. I'ma be a killer. Yep, I'm urban gorilla. I'm a stack skrilla, yeah, buy me a villa. Sell a five O to my auntie Priscilla. I don't give a they have strict things so you're Soviet Union. not allowed you know into the benefit well i mean yef did inform me that i was coming as a speaker as a as a person sitting in the audience as well as as a member of uh, christina Huff summers team so uh, i'm not sure what other standards are necessary i'm also wondering exactly why it's so necessary to keep me personally out we're just following protocol sir uh, well, why is your protocol to keep me specifically out? What country protocol? So did you or United States? Do you want to step over here to the site? Well, I'm, I'm happy to do it right here if you'd, if you'd like. I mean, well, I don't think to be private. The bottom line is it's a private property, okay? It wasn't fo out. proper procedures weren't followed and you're not going to be allowed to So am I to understand that if I take three steps forward, you will attempt to have me arrested? If you create a problem and you will not, you know, leave the campus, yes. Okay, so just to be, just to be clear, if I attempt to enter that hall right there and sit down just to listen to somebody speak, or if I attempt to ask a question or to engage in free speech, you will have me arrested. At this point, yes, sir. Okay. And I'm glad that we've uh, clarified that situation. I'm also glad that uh, in a city, I mean, clearly you have great security. I'm glad in a city that has uh, some 4,000 shootings to this date, you have 30 members of security just for a 59165 Jewish guy. <laughs> I'm, 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 this Thank is maybe you. a mild allocation Thank of resources. You. Well, okay. Well, if that's the way we're going to do this, then we'll just do the events elsewhere, folks. So follow us. And. This, in, according to this theory, that it, it, it... oh, someone's calling. My goodness, FaceTime. Uh, I think it's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey there, folks. Hey, Christina, how's it going? Uh, it's fine. We're having a good time here. We miss you. <laughs> Glad everybody's having a good time. Okay, party people, so here's the deal. They don't give a crap about free speech at this school, so they just threatened to arrest me if I set foot within basically 100 meters of the main building that you guys are in. So if you want to hear me speak and you want to hear Christina finish her lecture, just head over to the Green Room Theater about 0.7 miles away. You can follow us there, and it'll be great. Okay, did you hear that? We're going to the Green Theater? Green Room. Does this have any public dollars coming its way, this, this university? Uh, I, I don't know. It's a private university, which is why I didn't actually just attempt to walk right past security. If yeah. it's a public university, then I would have done so under my First Amendment rights. It's exactly. a private university. So once they made clear that I would be arrested if I took two steps forward, then what I did instead is Christina Hoff Summers, who joined me at this at this lecture, she actually Skyped me into the lecture hall, oh. and then we told everybody in the lecture hall to get up and walk out, and we all walked over to a, to a theater that was about three blocks away and did the event anyway. <laughs> Free speech goes on, so it turns out that your administrators are a bunch of hacks, <laughs> pathetic crybaby wusses who only care about the melting snowflakes who didn't even have the balls to show up, by the way. You got 35 people, 35 security people for little old me. No, not even any protesters, just for me because of my jujitsu skills and my massive 59165 Jewish frame. Okay, so I want to start. I come bearing gift, particularly for the social justice warriors. So I keep hearing that you fellas. You party, you party people that you want to, uh, you're wearing around these, these safety pins. I brought a whole pack of safety pins just for you. Gotcha, and then to accompany those, I brought the diapers you ought to be wearing. <laughs> so you can pin that up. You self-indulgent, pathetic children who can't handle anybody who has an opposing point of view. of this private Facebook page titled F White Supremacy Interrupting Ben Shapiro. Well, <laughs> well with all due respect, F you right back, gang.
By the way, just, just for the record, according to the Anti-Defamation League, I was the number one journalistic target of white supremacists this year. It's been a weird year for me. Uh, uh, on the one hand, I've been targeted by Black Lives Matter and called the KKK. On the other hand, I've been called Black Lives Matter by David Duke, so it's been really weird. Thug life. Thanks, by the way, to a, to a Wisconsin State Senator Dewey Strobel. He wrote today, as a taxpayer-funded university, Madison should make efforts to have more events open to the public, not fewer. But for those leftists if I, who want to make this a sanctuary campus, what if I just declare everybody who's my fan illegal and then they can come whenever they want? Gotcha, bitch. Okay, now on to some more important matters. Today we're going to debunk three favorite terms of the left. These are so... Shame! 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 Wow, it's, it's, like, it's like Game of Thrones. Should I get undressed and walk down the aisle? I do love it. Hey guys, how's it going? Are you done yet, or you want to like? You can keep standing. People behind you can't see. Like I, I, I'm happy to talk with you. Safety! 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 Did somebody fart? Safety! Okay, so uh, do we have that out of the way, or are you going to continue doing this? I tell you not to be children, the first thing you do is stand up and start screaming like my two-year-old. <laughs> and by the way, you see, this is, this is how conservatives actually treat people. You stand up and you interrupt and you shout safety, and you're perfectly safe. Surprise. Look at that. It's amazing. Look how that works. <laughs> For the record, you should also clarify your chance. If you're gonna shout safety, you should at least clarify who farted it first. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about three terms that the left likes to sling around with abandon. These are social justice, white privilege, and safe spaces. Now, I understand this may make some people a little upset. It's okay, you'll live, you really will. It'll be okay, we're all here for you. We'll take care of you. We'll make sure that we pat you on the head and make you feel all better afterward. And honestly, Facts don't care about your feelings. And Okay. So first of all. Shame! Shame! Honest to God. Okay, guys, I just I, I'm sorry, I have to I have to explain to you how semantics work. Like really, I think this is important now. Okay. Ah, you're so boring. You're so boring. Okay, so let me explain to you something, okay? If you're gonna pick a chant, if you're gonna pick a chant like shame, shame. who me? If you're gonna pick a chant like shame, watch Game of Thrones first. The bad guys shout shame. <laughs> you're not changing any. You're not changing anybody's mind. All you're showing everybody is that your collective IQ, if it were channeled into electricity, might be able to toast a piece of bread lightly. Okay, so can, can we talk now or are you going to keep shouting? Like, really, now's your chance to get it out. Let's hear your feeling. Come on. Just go for it. Or it's going to be like every 30 seconds, like the annoying microwave timer. Oh, you got anything more? You got anything more? Okay. Are we done? Thank you. All right. Social justice. Um, now, normally I don't like to do this, but... If we, have any, if we have any peace officers, this actually is now a disturbance that we would like to get past so that we can actually have a discussion. If you guys want to talk, we can talk. If you want to shout, get the hell out. For God's sake, at least wait till I say something that offends you before being offended. Racial diversity doesn't mean anything. Decency means everything. Diversity isn't good unless the people who are racially diverse are doing good things. Diversity isn't bad unless the people doing bad things are racially diverse. Diversity isn't our strength. Decency is our strength. Decency, remember that? Decency. 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 
decency, 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 decency. All right, guys. But as you can tell, the left does not care about decency. Decency, 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 decency. Sorry. Okay, if you guys are all gonna come up here, can we at least have circle time or something? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> are awesome. I appreciate your patience. Just so you all know how this was working. Okay, the reason that those people were not arrested is that the administration decided, full, full transparency, because I like transparency, that if they called the cops and arrested those students, they would have shut down the entire event. So that's what the administration decided. Instead, they just sort of asked them, and they said, you can have your time at the front of the stage. Uh, and uh, all I can wonder is if the administration would allow the same sort of privilege for any sort of conservative who decided to do this at a lefty event. And let me just say this nonsense about white supremacy. It is the vilest form of bullshit racism to suggest that all white people who disagree with you are racist. Damn, son. Okay, now, when last we left our story, when last we left our story, we were talking. Man, doesn't this school give homework or? Does anybody have a job around here? I mean. <laughs> I mean, I guess, when you, I guess when you're majoring in gender and diversity studies, you got a lot of time on your hands. Turn down the weed. Smoke that weed. Smoke that weed. Hi. Howdy. Fact number one. Transgender is not a disease. This is not my opinion. This is facts from the World Health Organization and the Amer American Psychologist Association. Just like don't, gay people don't have a disease. Fact number two, hey, rich true. kids stay rich, poor kids stay poor. Out of, one, out of 1,800 billionaires in the world, 12 of them are black. Where you come from, where you grow up, how much your parents earn, 
whether your parents are, were married plays a major role in determining yeah, I know where your there life marks end up. Fact number three. I would just like to remind you that hate speech is not free speech. Yes, it is. And my and question is, since facts don't care about your feelings, why did you use false facts? Okay, so none of the facts that I used are false. First of all, yes. Uh, no, okay, first of all, uh, would you like the answer? Okay, so the, first, so the three facts you mentioned, you talk about transgenderism. First of all, until five minutes ago, the DSM specifically defined transgenderism as a disorder. It defined it as gender identity disorder, now calls it gender dysmorphia, which doesn't even make sense. It says that depression is the actual problem, not the actual gender disorder, which again does not explain why the transgender suicide rate is upward of 40%, and the actual suicide rate for the rest of the American population is lower than 3%. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you talked about income inequality, and you suggested that all wealth is inherited. This is nonsense. According to, according to the IRS statistics, if you are born into the bottom 20% of wage earners in the United States, you will not be one of the bottom 20% of wage earners in the United States. 90% of people will not be within 15 years. There's tremendous wage mobility in the United States of America. Plus, there is not a group of people who just sit at the very top and stay there. People move up and down, in and out of the 1%. 1% just defines the line of income. It doesn't define the people who are in that 1% of income. I've been in the 1%. I've been out of the 1%. It will happen to lots of people. People who are older tend to be more likely to be in the 1%. They weren't once in the 1%. What happened? Okay, so that's number two. Number three, you say hate speech is not free speech. It depends how you define hate speech. The only speech that is not free speech is speech that overtly defends or pushes violence. Specifically, speech that is, that is generating violence, right? That's the only type of speech that's not hate speech. If I say things you don't like, that's not hate speech. And if you think that, that it is hate speech, you're a fascist. End of story. Yeah. Come out and play, nigga. Yeah. Huh? What you say, nigga? Yeah. Lead the way, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Today's the day, nigga. Yeah. Benjamin Piro, our hero, played violent as a child. Now that is pretty cool. P-E-N-S-H-A-P-E-R-O.